Are you looking to expand your knowledge on technology and anything else IT related? Well, if your answer is yes, then I think that this is the series for you. Welcome everyone to On The Fly, a series where I'm going to be going unscripted, on the fly if you will, about certain topics technology related, hopefully educating you on one or two things that you didn't know entering the video. So this series is going to cover a wide range and difficulty of topics, from stuff for beginners to enthusiasts and everyone else in between. Today we are going to be talking about storage versus memory. Why are they different? How are they different? Why are they confused? What devices are used for each of them? And anything else covering the topics, broadly speaking. <laughs> let's just start things off. Boom, let's go. Overall idea, it's permanent versus temporary. Storage is permanent. You can delete stuff on storage, but for our purposes, we're going to say that storage is permanent. Memory is temporary. So let's hone in on storage for now. Storage is what we call non-volatile. Non-volatile means that when you lose power on your system, you turn it off, you get a power switch, whatever it may be, you still have all the data on your hard drive. Like if you saved, if I were to save this video that I'm recording right now, and I didn't delete it, if I turn off my computer, it will still be there. That makes sense, right? Well, that's because it's non-volatile. If I tried to save this data with some random technology that would allow me to save it on memory, which would not make sense, it would be gone when I turn off the computer. Because memory isn't non-volatile. Memory is volatile. So, let's go on a little more about storage. Storage is, that's your flash drive that you have. That's the hard drive inside your computer. That's the CD-ROM that you put music on. That's your solid state drive. If you're not familiar with all of these terms, they're just all storage devices. And there are probably some of them inside your computer. Some will have a hard drive. Some will have a solid state drive. Some will have a combination of maybe multiples of these. So storage, that's where all your programs go. All your data, all of your music, videos, and stuff and things. If you can access it on, you know, Windows when you click my PC, my computer, this PC, whatever it says on your operating system. If it says local disk, and you see we'll see there, the C drive, all of your data on there, that's all storage. So now this is usually confused with memory because your flash drives and your SSDs, your solid state drives, those use non-volatile, remember it keeps all the data when the power's off, flash memory. Non-volatile flash memory is the technology that is used by flash drives and SSDs and other storage devices, not hard drives and not every device is going to use non-volatile flash memory, but that's why you may see that sometimes on websites, it'll say flash memory, because at the end of the day, a flash drive is still using flash memory, but it is used for storage purposes. That is where it gets a little confusing, and yeah, that's just how it goes. Flash memory is a method of storage. It isn't memory like RAM that's inside your computer, which we'll go over in just a moment. Memory as an opposite to storage is volatile. Volatile meaning when you turn off your computer, anything that's on memory is just gone. So now you're like, all right, what the fuck is memory now? What is memory? Memory is temporary storage used by internal components inside your computer. So what does that mean? Well, if you're running a bunch of programs at the same time, all the components inside your computer, like your CPU, the brain of your computer, needs a place to just temporarily like store data, but really fast, because your CPU, the brain of your computer, that's always performing instructions, allowing you to do all this wonderful stuff that you're doing on your computer, like watching this video. Well, guess what? Let's say that you have, let's say you have Skype minimized. Guess what? There's a part of RAM that is holding stuff for Skype. RAM. If I didn't mention this by now, RAM is what holds memory. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Now this is what you're going to use most of the time for memory inside your computer. I say most of the time because there are ways to actually dedicate parts of your hard drive and other mm, storage devices and you could use that actually as memory. But memory is supposed to be fast. Your CPU is fast and it needs a fast way of just grabbing data really quickly for any temporary stuff going on in the background, multiple programs going on at the same time. So that is what RAM is used for. RAM is used for memory. There are other types of memory out there, but the one that you're going to see the most is RAM. It's temporary storage 
for components inside your computer, and it's really, really important. If you have a really good CPU, a really good processor, and you have like two gigabytes of RAM, that's not a lot. That is bad. You're not going to get a lot out of your processor. It's just not going to work. So that's about that. There's RAM, which is for memory, and there is storage, which there's a plethora of storage devices that you could use. Like I said, there's a way to use storage devices, slower devices for memory in addition to RAM, but you still you do use that. Your, your computer does use part of your hard drive for memory, however, it's not the important part. RAM is what's significant. You can't just let your hard drive fly as your only way of, uh, your only source of memory for your computer, because then you're just, it's slow. You can't just use your hard drive as memory. So, with that being said, what if we turn the tables? What if we use RAM, really fast awesomeness, as storage? Well, it's non-volatile, or it's not non-volatile, so it'll be gone when you, when you turn off the computer. What if we got a program that were to, like, copy data off of the RAM onto another device? If that doesn't make sense to you, well, maybe we can have another video on that. Guys, hit the like button if you want to see a video on how to get super fast storage by using RAM as a storage device. Coming soon to a screen near you. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.